Ashto T85 and ASTM C127 are the standard method of test for determining specific gravity and absorption of coarse aggregate. The purpose of the specific gravity test is to determine the physical properties of the coarse aggregate for concrete mix proportioning. A change in this value will change the amount of coarse aggregate in a given concrete mixture. Absorption is a measurement of water in the aggregate pores. This value is critical to maintaining a consistent water-cement ratio. To perform this test, you will need a 4.75 millimeter or number 4 sieve, a large absorbent cloth, a wire mesh basket with number 6 mesh or finer, a scale. For ASHTO, the scale must conform to classification M231, while for ASTM, it must be accurate to 0.5 grams. A water tank. And finally, an oven, accurate to 110 plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius. We will now review the steps of ASHTO T85 and ASTM C127. Once again, these steps come directly from the ACI Technician's Handbook. Once we've obtained our sample, we want to reduce it to the appropriate testing size based on the maximum size aggregate. We now want to dry sieve our sample, rejecting any material that passes the number 4 sieve and keeping any material which is retained on this sieve. We now want to wash our sample to remove any dust particles that may be coating our aggregate. After thoroughly washing, we want to dry our sample to a constant mass. After drying, we want to soak our sample in room temperature water for 15 to 19 hours. Remember, for ASTM, this is 20 plus or minus 4 hours. We now want to roll our sample in a large absorbent cloth. Be sure to take care to avoid evaporation. When complete, our aggregate should be in the saturated surface dry or what's commonly referred to as SSD condition. We now want to record the mass of our sample in the SSD condition. For ASHTO, we'll record to the nearest 1 gram or 0.1% of the sample size, while for ASTM, we will record to the nearest 0.5 grams or 0.05% of the sample. We now want to put our sample in the wire basket and immediately submerge the sample and the wire basket. Gently shake the container to remove all entrapped air. After the scale has stabilized, record the mass of the sample while immersed in water. We now want to place our sample in an oven and allow the sample to dry to a constant mass. Be sure that the oven has a temperature range of 110 degrees plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius. Once we remove our sample from the oven, we want to allow it to cool for one to three hours or until it's comfortable to handle. We now want to record the oven dry weight. Now that we've completed all the physical aspects of our test, we can go ahead and do our calculations for bulk specific gravity SSD as well as our calculations for absorption. To do this, we'll need three weights. The weight of the oven dry specimen, the weight of the saturated surface dry specimen, and the weight of the specimen submerged in water. These are listed in our manual respectively as A, B, and C. And once again, all of our weights should be recorded in grams. So for our example, let's assume that the weight of our oven dry specimen is 2,958 grams while the weight of our SSD specimen in air is 2,994 grams and the weight of our submerged sample is 1,905 grams. 
The calculation for bulk specific gravity in the SSD condition is B divided by B minus C, or 2,994 grams divided by 2,994 grams minus 1,905 grams. And this should come out to 2,994 grams divided by 1,089 grams. And this should give us a bulk specific gravity SSD of 2.75. We can now go ahead and calculate our absorption. The calculation for absorption is B minus A divided by A times 100. Or 2,994 minus 2,958 divided by 2,958 times 100. And if we go ahead and calculate this out, we should get 36 divided by 2,958, which should give us 0 0.012, and 0 0.012 times 100 gives us an absorption of 1.2%. This will conclude AASHTO T85 and ASTM C127, Specific Gravity and Absorption of Course Aggregate. Listed here are the review steps for this procedure. And finally, there are three deviations worth noting between AASHTO and ASTM. They are listed here for your review.